Hi guys, so on my old channel, I had done a review on the Singer's Stitch So Quick and it was well received. It was probably one of my, I think it had over a million views easily. It might have had a couple million, I don't even remember. But it was, you know, a long time ago because it was like eight or nine years old, the video. So obviously it's been out there for a long time. But since um, I don't have that channel anymore, I'm here. Uh, I wanted to do it again. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty. I think my mom bought this for me in, oh my gosh when I was in college. So it's pretty old, but it looks exactly the same. The packaging still looks exactly the same if you were to see this at Walmart. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and review it again for you guys because there were questions that people had on the last video that I wasn't able to include initially. So this way I know what it is that you guys are interested in, the kinds of questions people asked, and we'll go from there. As you can see, I rewrapped it all just the same. It's in the same packaging, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that may find these like at, um, second-hand stores or things like that that might interest them so or they picked it up it doesn't have instructions anymore but what I'm gonna do is what I need to do is actually check this I haven't even looked at this thing in a very long time and see if it still has batteries and if they're not oh well, we'll see if they're dead I will certainly replace the batteries because it's it I mean it's been a long time um let me see oh they're still kicking okay so basically when you receive it, it's gonna look like this. It's, um, it does also have a plug, which would be really nice. If you have another like item that's um, electric or electronic, look at what the plug says there. So this one says the DC six volt 800 MA um, type of plug. So if anything that you have that the base of that plug says that, those numbers, exactly those numbers, you're good to go and you can plug it in here and use that instead of using batteries. Um, it's a really basic little item. I mean, I don't even think I have the instructions anymore, even though I packaged everything up. That's funny. Yep, I sure don't. But uh, it comes with three threaded bobbins, seven machine needles, a needle threader, and a thread spindle. Like I said, when you open it up, it's gonna look exactly like this. There's already gonna be some thread in it, and people always say, how do you re-thread it? Just the way it came out, <laughs> okay? So right now, the thread is unwinding in this direction, uh, counterclockwise, so it's going out that way. Okay, turning that way. And then you're just gonna get the end of your thread and put it up into this hole from the bottom up, bring it over and make sure you catch it in between these two silver plates, not out here, in between these two little silver plates, down and then through the eye of the needle. And the needle is facing, the hole is facing left to right. Okay, so like if I look at it this way, there's a needle hole. So you're going behind the needle and coming out the front. Okay, you're gonna bring it down behind the needle and come out the front. So that's how it is right now. I'm gonna pull this a little bit longer. And the other question people had, I believe, was how you do the bobbin thread. And um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't believe this one has a bobbin thread. This is the kind of thing that holds together something quickly. <laughs> Not for a long time. And um, I don't even know if it says on the outside. So it says handheld sewing machine, great for quick mending or craft projects. Now I would use this like on a card or something like that where I'm not actually gonna wear it um, to make an actual outfit because I don't know if you've ever seen, there's other kids sewing machines that do have a bobbin and that's great. And some don't, okay? And this is one that does not. Supposedly, I believe this is your tension. <laughs> Well, actually, okay, I take that back. It's not your tension. It's just, you see as I'm turning this, do you see the this thing moving up and down? I don't know if you can tell. It only does it a little bit, so I don't think it's really meant to control that. But here it is, bring it down right now. Hopefully, can you see that? It's very slow. <laughs> so instead of um, using the operator here, it's just a hand wheel. So like basically, if I'm creating something, I'm at the end of it and I want it to be done, but I need to get this needle out, I'm gonna use this part to actually help me. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. I hope that makes sense. So these are called like chain single loop sewing, because at the bottom, if you really pull it from the top, it's just going to come apart. Okay. Cause there is no bobbin thread holding it into your project. So this is for a quick mending. Cause I'm running out the door. Oh no, my pants, something coming to them. You're going to sew it up right quick and it's gonna come out like in the wash. So a lot of people ask me, is this good for sewing this or sewing that? No, not really. The one that is an actual sewing machine, I'll show it to you right here because I have it right here in my craft room and I have tons of views on this video too and I'll link it at the end. It'll be at the end cap, is this little guy. So Singer put out this little dude. This one has a bobbin thread. 
this is what keeps your stitches together, okay? Instead of it just pulling right out like this other daisy chain type thing. Um, this one has a robin thread and the lower thread, and this is only like 20 some odd dollars at Walmart also is where I see it most of the time. And people have been picking these up. You can hold it like this if you're doing something that's like drapes. I don't know why you would not just bring it down, but if you were to just sew with it, you can hold it in your hand. And um, it also takes batteries. And I think on this one, yeah, I didn't put batteries in it. I have a plug that works because again, this one takes um, a DC six volt, one amp, 1.0 amp. And that one's a little bit different from this guy. And I have one that works with it. So I will just plug it in and let it go with electricity. This one's only a few dollars more than this. And to be honest, I would buy this. If you have 25 bucks or whatever it is, instead of 15 or 18 or $20, whatever they want for this one, buy this one. This machine is an actual machine and it works really well. And I already have a review on that and I already put it there for you guys. So when people get upset and they're like, you didn't show us how to change the bobbin. There's not really, there's not a bobbin. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So I guess maybe that's why I never answered the question about that. These are the items it comes with. Again, more needles, more um, thread. Now, again, if you're gonna replace the thread, all you have to do is literally just take this, hold onto it, pop it out. See, it just came right out. And then take this out, pull it all the way out. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna redo it right now. Um, and then bring in your new one. Get the thread going and put it back on its little spindle. Oopsie, and pop it back in. Now you saw that the spring jumped out. <laughs> Keep your spring. So put the spring down, push this back in. Okay, and that's that easy. Again, it's really simple. And of course I'm saying that I can't push this thing in here. Oh, there you go. Thread is going counterclockwise. It's coming out in this direction. It's coming out to the left. That's the biggest deal. If you have it going out to the right and then you put it through here, it's not gonna advance the way you need it to. So your thread is coming out to the left, under the hole, over, in between this little silver spot, that's your tension. And this is actually your tension guide. When I was talking about this being the tension, it was not, it was just the hand wheel basically. This replaces your hand wheel like on a regular sewing machine. So this is your tension. If you're getting really big loops and it's like not really sewing very well, tighten it up a little bit or loosen it up, right? It's just the same as righty-tighty, lefty-loosey like anything else. Do you want to change out the needle? And a lot of these things, I don't really do them because I don't want to get into it. But you see this here? I don't believe it came with a screw, come with a screwdriver, does it? No. Okay, so you need to get a screwdriver and just loosen this, or maybe you can do it by hand. Eh, it looks like you need a screwdriver. Loosen it, just like any <laughs> screwdriver, loosen it up. The needle's gonna get loose and you want this to be all the way open. So let's just crank it up. Crank it all the way out so that you can have some easy way to get in here. Put your uh, screwdriver in there, loosen it up. The needle's gonna come out and then you're gonna get your new needle and place it in, but make sure that your eye of the, ne the needle is facing the same way, so it's facing forward. So the, the eye of the needle, as you can see, hopefully, let me try to focus, oh, come on. I can see into the hole, right? It's not going left, it's not facing this way. The eye of the needle is right in front of you. So always put it back the same way. Put the needle in as far up as it'll go, and then tighten it up again um, with your screwdriver. Okay, so it's just gonna pop right out and you just put the new one in, but always make sure that it's facing the same way. And then again, you put your thread from the back to the front. So another question I got from a lot of people was, can it sew felt? Can it sew you know, X, Y, Z? So I'm gonna grab some felt. I'm gonna grab some paper, like a card that I would normally probably use something like this on. And uh, maybe some regular fabric just so you can kind of see. And that'll be it. Okay, so I'm gonna put, two pieces of felt together, because now I think about it, I'm like, you want to sew something together, right? I don't know. So let me just cut this. This is kind of medium weight felt, it's not the heaviest felt. And let's just make it, we'll see if I can sew this <laughs> nicely. Oh, sorry, that was loud. So the other thing is you gotta control this thing, right? Now, so it has this little area here. See how you can pick it up. You can pick this up. Your fabric or whatever is that you want to sew needs to be under that. So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to bring this little, how do I want to sew this? This way. Put it right underneath and wherever you start it, wherever that's at, that's where it's going to start. Now I would recommend 
using this lever to bring the, th the thread into your fabric first before you start using the battery operated part. I do that anyway, even with my regular sewing machines, you always have a needle down. So I'm just going to turn this thing until it goes down and I'm turning it to the left counterclockwise. And I don't know if you can tell the needle is going down into my fabric. Okay. So now I'm going to start and I think, <laughs> let me see which way this thing sews. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it already slipped out. See that? Okay. So I need to push this back this way. We're going to have to lift this up. So it sews that way. It pushes your fabric to the left, okay? So just remember that. So here, I'm going to pop it down again into those feed dogs. It does have feed dogs, so it does move it for you. I don't know if you saw the fabric moving. Again, I'm going to bring down my needle in there. I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with the rest of my hand over here. I'm just turning it on, okay? And I'm guiding the fabric. It's moving along to the right. And I'm gonna stop it. It's really hard to guide, you guys. I'm not gonna, I told you, I'm not gonna sit here and say this thing's great. So when I got to the end of it, almost the end, I'm gonna pick this up with my finger, that little thing. I'm gonna flip my fabric and keep working. And again, I'm going to stop it. I'm at the end. I'm going to pick it up. Oop. Oh, I pushed it down with my hand. I didn't even know you could do that. That's not good. Let me raise it up a little bit. I put so much pressure that it popped up. So again, lift up this. And now you can turn your fabric. And then turn it on and keep going. Now, what you are supposed to do at the end of whatever you're doing, I just made like a little pocket. I don't know why, but you, know, you can use it for whatever you want. Is I'm going to lift up this guy. You're going to leave your project there. And what you want to do is pull out a lot of thread. Now, I'm going to use, just use like a little pair of scissors, anything like that. What you're going to do is pull out the thread from here. You want it to pull from your bobbin, okay? I'm just pulling it so I can have some extra thread. And I'm gonna pull quite a bit. I can get my finger in there now. And you're pulling it from the bobbin because what you need is thread to be left in your needle so you don't have to re-thread it. But you also need a piece of thread left back here. So now I'm gonna pick this up, make sure my needle is all the way out. So what happens here, we gotta hold on to this, is when people ask me, how do you replace the bobbin? The same needle, what it's doing right now is putting in, it's making its own bobbin plus the top. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it, it's, it does its own thing. So what I have to do is, um, let me see if I can show you. Let me bring this down here. There's a certain name for this type of machine. It's like loop and thread. I don't, it has a name. Now, this was up on top. Our stitch just ended. I told you guys, go ahead and get yourself quite a bit of string. Let me let this focus. Oh, come on. Okay, so this is the end of your string. I said pull lots of it out, right? From the bobbin. Don't pull it so it's coming out of your project. Now, when I turn this over, can you see that there's a little loop here? So that same thread that is coming off your bobbin is doing your top and bottom thread. And it's called like loop and daisy chain, loop and hook, who cares? But what you're gonna do with this thread, the thread that you had at the bottom, at, that was at the top, I just flipped it over, you need to loop it into this, um, this little circle. So it's kind of what I was telling you, when you sew something, if you pull this, it's gonna come apart. So if you're just doing your little, whatever project you just did on your pants, cause you have to take off and you don't wanna you know, seal it up, it's gonna come apart at some point. But what you need to do is bring this, and you can bring it back through with a regular needle. I think they do uh, supply regular needles. Put this on a regular needle, push it back through your fabric, and then catch that loop. Basically, you need to catch that loop so it doesn't come apart again. And that's how you're ending it. So I'm just gonna put it through the loop because I'm at the end of my little pocket, basically. Oh, come on. But you'll get better. If you really, really hold it right and work with it, you'll, you'll be okay. But see, I'm just gonna put that thread through there and pull it tight. And then on this opposite side or wherever your backside is, just keep threading it through and through and through just to finish it off, okay? If you don't catch that loop, it's totally gonna come apart. 
okay? So hopefully what I'm trying to show you is if you really look at this in the back, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. You can see that these are loops. It's a little loop, it's a little loop, it's a little loop. Sorry guys, something's making me sneeze here. So what I want to show you in the back is that these are a series of loops. That loop catches the other thread. So if you really look at this, it's kind of like on a bag of rice. They sew it the same way and they probably use the same kind of machine even. It's just a, a different type of sewing. So where you would have a bobbin thread, an upper thread, and that's like your regular chain stitch sewing machine. These are called like loop thread. Listen, I, I need to look it up. I'll have it somewhere in there. Um, and so you have to catch that loop. So to finish it off, you got to catch that loop and then now it won't come apart. But do you see this on the other side? <laughs> so that's kind of, oh, look at that. That's a good picture. That's a good view. Those are the loops. It's kind of like a latch kit. When you work with a latch kit and you go up and down, it's basically just catching a loop. So again, with this first one, you also have to tie it off or else it's going to rip apart. Now let me um, just back up for a second because I'll show you I made a little pocket and you know, you can obviously make something better. Like if you had a little top flap and add a little button or something. But, and these are two pieces of um, felt. So that's really good. I mean, if it can sew through felt, it's gonna sew through anything. Now a thinner fabric, it's not gonna be as easy because the feed dogs are moving, but like you have to be careful that you don't, um, just let it take off wild, right? It might start gathering your fabric up. So hopefully you understand. So th th I think this is the big takeaways. <laughs> it's only the this thread. And if people are calling this the bobbin thread, I guess, because it's on a bobbin, it's not bobbin thread. This is just your thread. It's gonna go through here. It's gonna make its own loop and catch it. And that's the kind of sewing machine or sewing system this works as. Um, again, I'm holding this thread out to the side just to make sure we're gonna catch this. And then the other takeaway I think from this is to know that whenever you put your fabric, it's gonna move to the left. So again, I like to turn the handle until it goes into the paper or wherever it's just so that it doesn't let go of your thread. I just turned it so it goes in there. And let's turn it on. And this time it didn't sew until like the last, like four or five stitches, which is weird, but that's okay. And I got to the end. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this latch up and turn it. So that's what I'm saying. This for me is more like if I was going to de put something decorative on a card, I think it'd be a cute way to use it because it's quick, right? Let me put that back into the... Okay. And since this is just paper, I can just turn. I don't really have to lift the thing. But if you have fabric in there, you want to lift the, the little presser. again and it on the up so I'm going to try to get it back down turning the little dial to the left and turning that and let's go okay I just ended and that is it guys if you have any specific questions I don't know what they would be because this thing is very very um <laughs> simple. I'm just going to turn this to get the head up. Okay. And again, like I said, pull yourself some bobbin thread. So pull it so that's coming from the bobbin, not so much coming out of your project. And that way you can use that to help you. Well, I pulled this one too tight, but be careful because I used the scissor um, and get that out. And again, since this is just a little like card project and maybe you can add some cute decoration of course your stamp whatever it is that you're going to do over that and i'm not going to seal it i don't care because it's just for a card you know say so i'm going to tape it down or glue it down so it's not the biggest deal and then get rid of these little extra <laughs> bits um but as you saw at the beginning it didn't sew for a minute and then i just came back around and finished up that little bit that it didn't do so thanks for watching guys i hope that helps maybe this is uh like i said i i know the questions people asked last time and maybe this is more helpful um, it does take four uh, AA batteries and those have been in there probably for 15 years <laughs> so they've done pretty well. Um, thanks for watching. I'll have a few pictures for you guys if there's something here that is kind of something I can take a picture of. I don't know what that would be but I will see you guys at the next one. So always remember to seal up that last bit okay. Always catch that last thread and just finish off your 
thread with a with a hand needle. Um, just kind of go around and around until it's not going to come apart anymore. And I'll try to get a closer picture of these. You know, loops what, now so that I have it at this angle, maybe you can see better. Um, this is the front of the sewing, and you can really make that out. It just looks nice and satin-like. And the back, again, it has those little loops I'm telling you guys about. Do you see how it's like two, two, two? It's two pieces. If you really separate, you can see that's two pieces of thread because it makes a loop. Now. I came back because I was taking pictures and I thought, you know what, I talk about tension but not that much. If for some reason the thread that's at the bottom is coming up the top a lot, like it just looks really loopy on the top, your tension um, is probably too tight. So you have to mess with your little tension gauge, which is this, right? Loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten. Now if the bottom where the loops are is all just everywhere that's just really a lot of and you'll know it when you see it you'll just see a lot of thread back here or it might even make it just a jumble of thread your tension is too loose so come in here and tighten it up okay and then just try it again so sometimes you do have to feel that out for this one it was perfect like if I'm looking at this I didn't even mess with it well you did see me mess with it right a little bit I kind of turned the knobs but let me get that focused again that's exactly perfect. You basically want the top and the bottom thread, even though this doesn't have a top and bottom, to be kind of meeting up in the center. So it goes down, it comes up, but it's, it's just a nice um, stitch, which is what I got. So uh, that's all, and hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you don't have problems with that. A lot of time, well, attention problems aren't the biggest deal, but like I said, you just have to loosen it and tighten it, try it again, and now if it looks better, you're good. If not, go the other way, right? So um, if you get confused on that. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you at the next one. Bye now.